Hello guys and welcome. So in this video I'm going to be showing you the meteorite uh, shard locations for day two of the event on Reconciled Stars in Genshin Impact. Thank you for watching the video so far. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell to help with the YouTube algorithm. Now back to the video. So um, as it's now day two of the event, what you need to do, go to the event list go to event details and uh, the second part of the quest still has not unlocked but you can see that there's three new areas and the motivation to do them each day is the amount of gems you get like 30 gems for find seven I think is really good but what I'm going to do is as per always I'm going to try and find all of them so that I can uh, get the maximum rewards when it comes to the event shop so the first area is this uh, Dadupa Gorge so I'm going to do it a little bit different today. I'm just going to literally snap to each location and show where it is on the map. I don't have enough pins available on my map in order to pin all of them, but I will try and link as many useful resources in the description box below. So once we get to the first location, we will continue. Okay, so we made it to the first location uh, right here on the map. So if you need to pause the map, uh, pause the video to be able to find out I where watch. I am. So I'm right next to this shrine. You call me. Cool, so let's get it. Right. Let's go. Okay, so we're at the next location, which is here on the map. So we're next to this uh, monster arena thing. So let's get it. That's two. Let's continue. Okay, so here we are. Uh, same sort of area, just north of the monster arena. The so monster arena's there. And you see the monsters are surrounding it. So, let's get it. Okay, that's free. So, on to the next location, I go. Okay, so we made it here. Right there on the map. So, we have to climb up this... Uh, monster lookout and it's right at the very top so now we're gonna head towards the west okay so we've now made it to here on the map and it's right there so let's get it all right so that's five now let's go to the next location All right, so we've made it to the top of the X kind of structure uh, right here in the gorge. And it's right at the very top, as you can see, right nestled in right there. Let's get it. That's six. Okay, now we're going to head towards the south. Okay, here we are. So we're at the... East point of this little area south of the uh, Duapa Gorge, and it's nestled right in this bush. So you can see here, it's right there. Okay, so that's seven. So at this point, technically, you could stop, uh, but uh, you don't have to. And then next, let's go to this point because it's right next to it. You can see it's right in that tree. All right, now we're going to head towards the east. Okay, so we've now made it to this next little area, right to the very south tip of it. So we've climbed up this little um, tower, and then let's get it. All right, now let's head to the north, because they're quite close together in this area, so... Let's get this one right in the middle next to this fire and then there's one more probably at the top of that structure let's be honest okay so let's go yep it's right there you can see it i don't think the best way to get there if I have to climb higher. I 
yeah, there doesn't seem to be any smooth area to get up there. So once I get to the top of there, we will continue. Okay, so I managed to make it to the top by climbing up that cliff there and then just gliding here. So let's go. Right, now we need to head to the north. Okay, so we've now made it here. So there's this cliff, there's this face that is sitting right on this rock. Okay, so now let's head towards the east. Okay, so we've made it right here. And it's right in the open, right on this rock. Let's get it. And so now again, we're going to head towards the east. Okay, here we are. Right there. And it's nestled right in this rock. So you can see roughly where I am. It's right there. Now we're going to head towards the north. Okay, so the next location is right here. And it's nestled right in this little rock right here. So let's get it. Right. Next, we're going to head towards the east. Okay, so this next one is right here. It's literally just north of the teleport stone. So let's get it. Now we're going to head towards the south. Okay, here I am. So right here on the map. And it's again nestled behind this little rock. Let's get it. Right, so now we're going to head north. And I believe there's only two left in the uh, Duapa du Gorge region. Okay, so we've made it to here on the map. And it's right on the tip of this little hill. As you can see up here. Let's get it. Then the last one in this region is right to the very north of this entire cliff face. You can see it right there in the distance. Okay, so we made it to the last region, or the last shard in this region. So it's right at the very tip of Cape Oaf, right at the top of the cliff. So let's get it. And this is also a spawn point for the unusual hilly churl. So uh, now let's look at the event details. Let's go here. Okay, sorry. And then um, so we can see this uh, place has been done. Next, let's go to the next area. So there's two more areas. There's this whole massive region here, and then there's also this region here. So once we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, so we're next working on this region right here. The... Uh, uh, Hua Yangang, I probably mispronounced that, <laughs> Stone Forest area. So I got to right here. I found the quickest way to get here is to uh, teleport to uh, Mount Ozang and then just glide rather than climb up from here. So, and it's right on this rock. So there we go. So that's one. Now we're going to head to the south. Okay, here I am. So around here on the map, I had to climb up this surface almost to the top. Almost. So that's the top there. If you climb to the top, you actually get a chest. But uh, yeah, so it's right here. So now we are going to head to the south. Okay, we've made it to this teleport right here on this peak. And it's a little bit, a little bit down. So there it is, see? Oh, let's get it. All right, now we're going to head even more south. 
Okay, so we have now headed to here on the map. So we I teleported to the Statue of the Seven and then uh, glided straight down. So that's where the Statue of the Seven is. There's one right here where I'm standing. I already looted by mistake before recording. But it's right here. You'll you'll see it surrounded by a couple of hilly churls. Um, now we are going to head to the north again. Okay, so I've made it to the top of this little peak right here. And this is where this is. It's right off this ledge. Let's see. Oh, let's get it. Right. So now, again, we're going to head to the north. Okay, so I, I made it to the uh, top of this teeny peak right here. And you can see where this fire torch is, where the bridges are. So let's get it. All right. So now again, we're going to head even more north. Okay, so I made it to uh, Mount Ozang. Um, I climbed up from where the teleport stone is to right here. So let's get it. You can see at the base of this tree. Nice. Right. Now we're going to head to the southeast. Okay, so we glided a bit southeast from where we were to this uh, peak right here, and it's right at the top. So let's get it. All right, now we're going to head back to the west. Okay, so we made it to this one. It's right at the very peak of uh, this mountain. So let's get it. All right. So next, we are going to head to. We're going to actually head to the one to the west. So let's go. Okay. So we made it to the top of this peak. This is a peak that has the million bird eggs. And it's right here. Let's get it. All right. So now we're going to head to the southeast. Okay, so again, we made it to the top of this peak. That's right here. It's right at the very, very, very top. Let's get it. Right, now we're going to head to that peak over there. You can see it right there, right at the very top. Okay, so we made it to this peak right here. So let's get it. So next, we're going to head to the uh, west, looking at the map. Okay, so we made it to the top of the peak that's right here, right on the edge of the map. So there is actually a time trial here as well, but it's, it's nestled there right in that tree. So let's get it. All right, so now let's go to the next location. Okay, so we made it right here to the top of this peak, and it's right there. Let's get it. Right, now we're going to head to the southwest. Okay, so we've made it to here, and we're right on the top of this. So let's get it. Now we're going to head to the south. All right, so we made it to here on the map, and it's out on the open on the floor next to this tree. Let's get it. Right, now we're gonna head to the west. All right, so we're now in this region, next to Mount Julio, and we're right up this tree. So you have to climb up this tree to get here. So let's get it. Right, off to the next location we go. Okay, so we made it to here on the map, next to this uh, beast hut, and it's right here next to this wall. Let's get it. Right, now I believe that the last one in this area is actually up Mount Hula, so let's teleport. Okay, so it's 
there, I guess, next to this water. Let's see if we can find it. Hmm, where could it be? I just wanted to keep this one going because I, I want to show you guys the intricate process of making these sort of guide videos. Okay, it's right there. So you have to climb up this peak. Done. Okay, so we've now finished this region of the map. So again, let's go to event details. And let's get it. Right. So the last one is this Yao Guang A log, which is uh, this massive region here. So once I get to the first location here, we will continue. And remember, you only need seven to get the rewards, but I'm showing you where all of them are. And the reason why I'm showing you where all of them are is because there's an event shop where with the meteorite shards, you can buy stuff. So that's why I'm, I'm gathering as many shards as possible uh, for that, for that basically, so that you can buy as many things from the shop as possible. But once we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, so we've made it to the first one in this area right here, just southeast of the Wangshu Inn. And it's on the peak of this little um, rock next to this uh, lake. So let's get it. Right, now we're going to head to the southeast. Okay, so we're next to this uh, bridge uh, right here on the map. And we just jumped off the right side next to this rock. So let's get it. Okay, uh, now we're going to head to the southwest. Okay, so we've made it to here. And it's nestled right in this rock. Uh, around here, let me just quickly show you where I am so you can work it out. Right, now let's head to the next location. Okay, so we made it to right here um, on this beach. So you can see it's nestled right there in the ruins of this broken boat. Now we're going to head to the north. Okay, so we've made it to here on the map. And so you have the Hillichell camp right there. And it's right on the other side of this little rock. Let's get it. So now we're going to head to the east. All right. So we've made it to um, here on the map. And it's right there. So now we're going to head to the southeast. Okay. We've made it to here on the map. And you have to climb up a little bit of this rock surface, and it's right there. Now, let's head to the northeast. Alright, so we've now made it here, to this part of the map. And it's right here on the beach. Let's get it. Right, now we're going to head to the slightly to the northeast. Okay, here we are. So we're at this part of the map. Now we have to quickly just jump on here into this tree. Okay, now we're going to head to the east. All right, so we are now here on the map with this big uh, rock. But all you have to do from where the teleport stone is, just come a little bit north and then climb up this tree and you'll spot it right here. It's actually near the ground. It's not at the very top. Right, so now let's go to the northeast. Okay, so we made it um, here on the map, right here. And you can see the ruin guard patrolling, and it's right here in this little rock. Cool. So now we need to head over there to get another one. Okay, so we made it onto this little island right here. And it's to the south of it, 
over this fence is nestled right here. So if you have to, like I said, pause the video to work out where I am. Okay, on to the next location. Okay, we made it to here on the map, and it's nestled right there. There's usually a big monster there, but I already got rid of it. Now, we're going to start heading back towards the west. Okay, so we made it to uh, here on the map. So you can see this three activation points right there in this tree. So let's get it. Right, so again, let's head more east. Or west, sorry. All right, so we've now made it to here on the map. On the top of this little peak right here. Again, pause the video if you need to. And let's go. Right, so now we need to head uh, this way. So I'll probably teleport to that shrine and go to the west. So there's only now two left in like the whole game. Okay, so we've now made it to here on the map. Again, on the top of this sort of little ridge next to this tree. All right. So I believe the last one is to our uh, southwest. All right, so we're right here on the map. This is the last spot, so let's get it. So we're about halfway up this ridge. If you look where I am on the map, uh, pause the video if you need to. Cool, and that's it. We have now got all of them for these three regions. So again, let's go back to event details. And let's get it. Nice. So now I have 157 shards. So again, if I was to go to the event shop, then which was in the right bottom left of the screen, you can see what I can buy. I'm still waiting to see, to be honest. I mean, I might buy these initially. So let's exchange because they're limited and I need them for the essential items, so. As if you're ascending many, many characters, it's, it's always a good idea to have many of these. Now, of course, there is still probably a couple of weeks left on this event, which means that there will probably be... My guess is that you'll be revisiting some of the regions that I've already done. So um, I'm going to be considering how I label these videos. And in eight hours, we'll see what the second part of the quest is, the star of deceitful dreams. So if you like this video, if it was useful for you, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, leave a comment. And yeah, and more to come. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch around the video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thanks to you guys. Bye-bye. You call me.